TIFU by being an asshole when I was nine. Obligatory this didn't happen today. But a long time ago. I'm 26 now. But I just remembered this story. A few years back. I came home for fall break from college. While home. I went to go get coffee with my dad to catch up at a local coffee shop we used to be super close. But have kinda grown apart over the years due to a lot of things that have nothing to do with this. Story. While we're chatting. This guy comes up to us out of nowhere and goes. Hey. Are you insert my name here? I responded. Uh. Yeah. Why? What's up? Guy were you in a spelling bee when you were in fourth grade? Me. Thinking that's a strangely specific question uh. Yeah. I was. Why? Guy well I was also in that spelling bee and I was in eighth grade. I got out on the word monkeys. When I left the stage. You told me that anyone with an 8th grade reading level should be able to spell monkeys. I just wanted to tell you that that really fucked me up for a long time and was a really shitty thing to say to someone. I immediately remembered that interaction. But was stunned so all I could say was. Damn dude. Sorry about that. And he just left without saying anything else. My dad and I just kinda sat there like, what the fuck just happened? He turned to me and goes, I seriously thought that guy was going to fight you. I was speechless. This man held onto my dickhead fourth grader comment for over a decade and still recognized me and felt the need to confront me about it in public. Goes to show that you never know how your words hurt people. If you're out there dude. I'm sorry for being an ass when I was nine. Believe it or not. I've grown a lot since then. TLDR a grown man confronted me for a mean comment I made to him when I was nine and he was 14. Don't be a dick when you're little or it'll come back to haunt you 10 years down the line. Edit spelling. The edit is fucking priceless. I was in a spelling bee when I was in the fourth grade. I got nervous and spelled silent as sliant. I had years of regret over that. Jesus. I mean. Fair enough. Everyone is entitled to their pain. But I feel like he had worse things going on. Even to this day. If that was still bothering him. I've had drinks with old schoolmates I used to dislike immensely for being bigger dicks than that. After meeting them years later as fully realized adults. I mean you weren't wrong lmao. Haha kids are ruthless I remember being 16 and a 9 year old I was babysitting asked if I had a boyfriend. When I said no she said. It's probably cause you aren't pretty. LMAOI held on to that for like seven years and felt so vindicated when she grew into an awkward teenager. Then I actually grew up and realized it was pathetic of me to hold a grudge against a child. This dude sounds pathetic. The edit on this made me lol. That is all. I were nine. If he's still traumatized by something an elementary school kid said to him while he was almost in high school he's got issues he needs to work out with a therapist. All nine-year-olds are narcissistic assholes. First of all, this is definitely the fault of the band The Monkees. Not you. Secondly, Jim Halpert feels your pain. That's not a foo. That's growing up. I had a girl in HS come up to me and spill her guts about something I'd said that bothered her when we were in kindergarten together. I immediately apologized and admitted I wasn't a nice kindergartener at times. Grimace woman shrugging I didn't remember her being very kind either. But that didn't really matter. Perception is what it is. We were five. 
and I hoped my apology made her feel better about whatever had bothered her for so long. I mean can we talk about how this is about a spelling bee and you had to edit for spelling? Who should be able to spell at 26 now op? Lol. But seriously feels bad that guy held on to that for so long. Hope he's doing better after confronting you. Maybe it relieved some weight from his shoulders. Fucking love that there's a spelling edit lmao. Man really had to edit the spelling for this post. Really shows you grew a lot. I would nt have been able to keep a straight face if that happened to me. It'd probably ask him if he could spell it now. Real life Twitter moment. Confronting someone for some shit they did like 20 years ago. Lol. The edit spelling makes it so much more funny for ha ha ha. You didn't fuck up at all. It's that guy's fault he clings on to the stupidest shit for a decade. That guy needs therapy. Kids are brutal. Everyone had mean comments thrown their way as a child by other kids. He needs to learn how to do what every well-adjusted human has done for all of human history and get the fuck over it. Now this is a TIFU. Full of applicable remorse from which we can all take note. Thank you. I mean, you weren't wrong. I definitely remember the shitty things other kids said to me and they certainly fucked me up. But I'm old enough to realize that confronting any of them would be pointless. Don't be a dick when you're little or it'll come back to haunt you 10 years down the line. I still remember the people who stole my card decks in high school. It's already been over a decade. I hold grudges until the day I die. To be entirely fair, most of what we read is at a 6th or 7th grade reading level. Even college level reading is rarely at a higher grade reading level. 8th and up are beyond a surprising amount of the population. Oh good lord. I was teased mercilessly for being chunky when I was in school. I would be living under a rock if I carried that shit for decades. And I doubt I would even recognize any of my tormentors this many years later. Living well is the best revenge. Insane this man could recognize and determine it was you. Unless you still look like a prepubescent lil nine-year-old. I love that you had to edit your post for spelling haha. -ha. Anyone else find it ironic op edited for spelling errors? Imo he fucked up by taking what could have been a moment of closure and shitting all over it. Like, does he feel free now? As if a great weight has been lifted. Or more likely infinitely more angry and bitter that he got to confront you and nothing changed. P.S. It's not what you do when you're 9. It's how you feel about it when you're 26 and what you do with that information. Sounds like this will be a moment that will stick with you for a while. It's just a dude in the spelling bee is ready to kick your ass. I'd stay away from home the older I get. Sounds like you might have fucked up a lot of people. Lol you might have been a massive dick at the age of. The sticks and stones thing is a load of pish. It should be sticks and stones can break my bones but time will heal me. Calling me names will forever haunt me. I think it's more on him for holding a grudge than you in this story. But I guess we don't know what he went through. Nine-year-olds are just kinda like that sometimes. If you're a teenager and getting that upset over a child being a bit of an asshole, it's not. Actually the child that's the problem. Well, nine-year-old you was right. You should be able to spell monkeys by the 8th grade. This kinda explains how when you confront your bullies years down the line they don't believe they were being bullies. Or don't remember being bullies. They just carry on with their sweet lives believing their conscience is clear.